Hello everyone and welcome to another Thomas video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Boros Ephemerate in Thomas format. So this deck is very similar to Death and Taxes, but it's not quite the Death and Taxes you'd expect because we don't have any way of actually taxing our opponent but we tax in a different way using cards that blow up our opponent's lands. So from Modern Horizon 3, we got this card called the White Orchid Phantom. This is quite the stat stick. Even just as a vanilla, it's a 2 mana 2 2 with flying and first strike, which is kind of unheard of. And at the same time, when this comes onto the battlefield, you get to destroy one target non-basic land on the battlefield. And its controller may search for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. So with this card, you get to destroy opponent's land. And if you also have Ephemerate at the same time, you get to also do it two more times, which is kind of absurd. As long as your opponent doesn't have like more than two basics, which is usually going to be the case with a lot of decks currently in the metagame, this card is going to put a lot of work. And not to mention, there's another card that we got from Modern Horizon 3 that also kind of pairs up well with White Orchid Phantom, and that is this doggo. We got Felia Exuberant Shepherd, which has flash. So you're going to flash this on opponent's turn. When this attacks, after you play the White Orchid Phantom, you get to exile White Orchid Phantom and then put it on the battlefield again. And not only is the Felia going to get a plus one plus one counter by doing so, but White Orchid Phantom is going to destroy another land from opponent's side. And while this is going on, if you do have this card called Archivist of Ogma on the battlefield, because the White Orchid Phantom is forcing your opponent in searching the deck, that'll activate the Ogma and that'll draw your card, which is fantastic. And once opponent has ran out of basics, that's where this other card comes in and that's Ghost Quarter so that you can use this card to get rid of their basics. So now opponent doesn't have any dual lands left plus the basics and you can proceed to winning the game. So having said that, I'm going to be hopping over to some time of special 3 to show you guys how that does. So let's hop on over. Okay, I'm curious as to see how this one works out. Got a Solitude. Solitude Ephemerate combo. I think we go with the White Orchid Phantom here. I think we just go with the White Orchid Phantom. Boom. And then we ghost quarter next turn. Alternatively, I could have waited. You know, I could have waited. Swamp. Like, for example, I wait. Solitude. Wait on Ephemerate. Yeah, I should have maybe waited. Amp the Raptor. Reanimate? Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, what's the deal here? Am I ghost quartering the swamp? Or should I save Aven Raptor? Aven Interrupter? Guess I'm just waiting. I've got a juicy combo here. Boom. Oh my god. Okay, so... Let's see. Attack. Play the land. Let's see if they have any more basics left in the deck. Get rid of a swamp. They don't. Okay, that's fantastic. Ephemerate. Go. Okay, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. They play the Fable. Take the damage. 
play the failure. Now I could solitude. Okay, they're done. They're just done. Because I'm I'm about to uh Felia get back the white orchid, destroy that, and then solitude the goblin shaman, and they're dead. So Amped Raptor is really bad against some Dranite Magistrates and Archons. They're splashing black, so that means they play um Orcish Bullmaster. Maybe so maybe I cut this one. Uh Semi is, is also pretty bad against Orcish Bullmaster. So I'll cut this as well. Maybe two recruiters. Well. We can't play Solitude on turn one anyways. I think we pass. This is perfect, right? Because we have Ephemerate with the Solitude. a lot of value but I guess still good enough uh they could have a like a targeted removal spell so I guess I should just do it now let's actually go with the Dranet magistrate Insane. Static prison. Do it again. I'll do it again. I think that's still good enough. Decline. Decline. Orkish Bowmaster, okay. The last time they had two different basics. Yeah, they had two basics. Do it now? I could wait on... I could wait next turn. Yeah, let's just wait. Stable amulet. That's a four mana card. That is a four mana card. An attack. I think I just hold on to this for solitude. Instead of using it. Another one. That's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Into an Amp the Raptor as well. What? Okay, this is pretty crazy. That's a lot of, um, enchantments or whatever. Did not expect that. This is a sorcery spell. I think I'm actually free to attack. Attack with this. Flash in. 
Felia, and then we, we can Solitude as well. I think that's the plan here. Galvanic Discharge. Red. Lock. Fanatic Prison. That is re really interesting that they went for that instead of the White Orchid Phantom. They have too many black mana. I could get my opponent off of this card. I think I should. Prevent opponent from infinite looping. Okay, get that out of the way. Exile that. Attack with you. Oh my god. Okay, my opponent's cheating? How did they do that? These draws are absolutely nuts. They drew a Cthonia Nightmare right after I destroyed it, and then they played an Amped Raptor? Oh my god. Wait, what? Shouldn't they kill the Enchanter? That seems like a mistake. That seems like a gigantic mistake. Huh? What just happened? Okay. I mean, this doggo is putting in a lot of work. What a card. Fury! They can even pay for the... 
That's a disaster. That is not cool. Oof. That is not cool at all. I would love to flash this in. But I think I have to take the damage here. Recruiter. I play this just so that Doggo can blink it. Um, whatever we get here doesn't really matter too much. Because we're going to be using Solitude to get rid of it here. So I guess it's something that you don't really want to see. I guess we'll get uh, Give Our Runes to discard to the Solitude. Four, six, eight. And then we have a recruiter to block with it. I think I'm going to hold this one back. We get another Solitude. Well, that is a dead card that you don't want to cast. Also, uh, the Avon Interrupter taxing against the Unstable Amulet is kind of sick. Wait, what? You're dead. Opponent! Maybe they just gave up. Okay, that was sick. Man. Got a mulligan that much, huh? I think we'll just uh, sit with this. We got two removal spells, so hopefully... You know. Not gonna be as bad. Hopefully, hopefully. Wow, it's like they could see my uh, top of our deck. Nice, we draw land. It's not the one we want, but it's still good, good enough. Well, I could Ghost Quarter get back Samwise, uh, play Samwise Gamgee. Oh, I can't do that. Because I, I'd have to tap the Ghost Quarter. Any, uh, white lands? I'll take any white lands. I can. This probably should have been like a mulligan, but... Sometimes it'd be like that. What?
Nice, we did it. So I could go Samai's Gamgee. Get back another land. That's something we can do. What to do? Or I could just play... Yeah, maybe I maybe I just get another land. With the Samwise Gamgee. That seems like a plan. Since we're like so star for land, I think Samwise, uh, Samwise here is perfectly fine. Okay. So they had another bowmaster. Another ghost quarter. Not something that we want to see there. Destroy target land as controller may search their library for a basic land. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. So crack this on the ghost quarter, and then fetch a planes, and then play a lodge? Seems okay. Five, six, so they deal six damage here. I go to four, then I grow seven. Ragavan? Oh no. I'm dead. I'm dead because of this. Wow. on planes yeah I think I think we're dead and no matter what let's just see if opponent has another land another basic they do Darn. such a close game I mean, I guess I didn't play the game at all. Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't play the game until like, turn like 6 or 7 or something like that. Such a close game. We got so mana screwed because we had to mulligan and I got greedy. Um, even though they were playing reanimate, like, I feel like I, like, who cares about rest in peace? I feel like don't we just have the edge since they're playing like a creature deck instead of a Aven Interrupter, maybe even like a Boromir. That was certainly a weird game, indeed. We almost got there. Until my opponent had double Bowmasters. If opponent's thinking this much, they must not have reanimate.
nice. I'm kind of hoping this Gever Bruin lives so I can play Recruiter into an Ephemerate. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Or maybe it could. Okay. So we play the recruiter. Um, we're probably gonna grab a solitude. Probably a bowmaster coming out. They don't. Okay, so this is a good information. They don't have a single removal spell in their hand if they did that. It should have made me tap with the giver of runes, right? But they didn't. So they went with this play. Okay, that's fine. It sucks because um I do have a ephemerate here. So, it's kind of a bummer. White Orchid Phantom. Fable. Or... Ooh, that is an incredible draw. What a draw. Reanimate Fury. Do I save this White Orchid Phantom? Probably not. Full control. It matters too much. Seems good. Yeah, Flodge is something else against the scam deck. It's just so good. It's so good. It is amazing. Nice. Play the giver runes now. Or solitude into ephemerate. Probably solitude into ephemerate is a lot better. It looks like they have a removal spell. Reanimate. 
reanimate. Yeah, it looks like they have a fatal push. Or it could be like something like a not dead after all. Yeah. We need another red source though. I shouldn't have actually played this. Oh, it's a lightning bolt. I see. Or it could also be a surgical as well. A lot of options. Okay, so they had a fatal push. Okay, that's fine. Not going to ephemerate, uh, give her runes. Seems like pretty terrible. Oh, that is, that is huge. That is humongous. Okay. We can probably ephemerate this archivist. I think it's a good deal. Okay. Bowmaster. Into another Bowmaster? Or are you going to Demonic Tutor here? I'm down to use this Ephemerate. Like, drawing a card is always good. Is this a Surge effect? It is. Okay. Nice. I'm okay with that. Into a reanimate, into a troll. I'll probably just solitude. Let's see what we find. Another solitude. Maybe I just take the damage. Like, what's 6 damage gonna do? Yeah, what is 6 damage gonna do? Okay, no Orcish Bowmaster in hand confirmed. Five cars in the yard. I could reanimate the full lodge. Let's attack first. It surely seems like they have a fatal push in hand. It definitely does seem to be the case here. I think I'm going to solitude. There's troll. What an interesting game. Another Bowmaster. I'll go with the Solitude on the Orcish Bowmaster then. And that'll give me another card. Funny enough. That's fine. The Ogma already did its job. Actual gas. I mean, I'm gaining so much life, it's actually insane. Slightly annoying. We 
We're not going to block this one. Recruiter. Now that is a card. That is a card. Go with the Enchanter. I think we have to attack with the Solitude. So we don't die to a Lightning Bolt. Top deck. Discard the Ghost Quarter. I should, probably shouldn't have uh, played a land first. That was my bad. And then we pass. This deck has so much life gain. So how many Orcish Bowmasters did we get? One? Two? Two Bowmasters so far. Deathrite Shaman. Ooh. My opponent passes. Let's play the Enchanter. Get rid of a hearse. And we probably have to get rid of a Deathrite Shaman here. Or should we get rid of a Troll? Four cars in the yard. I think we pass here. Actually, let's just get rid of a Death Rush Shaman right now. Because we want to keep the size of our graveyard healthy for the Falage to come out next turn. Hack all. Put it on the recruiter. We got a swords. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was actually pretty convincing that this is a really good matchup for us. Because the only time we actually struggled when it was when we couldn't actually play the game. Oh my god, I still have this garbage. Roiling Vortex. Wait. It's the wrong card. I thought I was playing the other, the new one. I really need to side that out. Okay, I need to remember. Wait, is this actually... A control deck? Oh my god! I play one copy of you! Why Why do you keep showing up? Yes, I get it! I accidentally put you in. I accidentally put you in. Like... This is insane. That I keep drawing you. It's like a constant reminder that... I have to actually go into the deck building screen after this game. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I could save it. Play this now. Mm. 
Nope. Opt. Yeah, by the way, this memory memory to glory is not supposed to be in here. It's supposed to be the other land. Prismatic ending now. So this basically shows them what we're going to play. So I I feel like I should probably get something that is kind of annoying for them. Such as the White Orchid Phantom. So I show them this. So maybe they won't play something on their turn. Because I want my... Oh, it's this kind of deck. Okay, next game, please. So we need Disruptor Flute and Archon. Let's take out some Falage and Source to Plowshares. Something like this. Falage. Not a big fan of this. Okay, disrupt her flute. Man, these are all great cards. Maybe recruiter. Because I'm trying to Samwise into Felia. Uh, Samwise grab back the fetch land. I should pass. Because I'm pretty sure this deck could combo on turn 2. So if they play the Thassa's Oracle... We'll play the Samwise, the Stouthearted... Get this thing back. An attack. So we want to disrupt her flute when they play the Thassa's Oracle. Then we call Tainted Pact. Or if they, you know, tap out here, I'll probably just play the Disrupt her flute now. Uh, tainted Pact. Now cost 5 mana. Maybe I should just play it now. Prismatic Vista. What the... Yeah, I'm kind of upset by that. Ratchet Bomb? Maybe I can race them. Yeah, maybe I can race them.
They'd have to tap it twice. Okay. Wait, they sacrificed already. Interesting. Uh, Archon, my friend. Okay. Good enough. Okay, I mean, that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. So let's uh, do that again. We got Disruptor Flute again. Oh man, these are all great cards. I think it has to be even Interruptor. Wait, no, not the double. Okay, I don't believe in Dark Ritual. And a land. It's a four card combo. I'm not gonna play around the four card combo. Okay, nice, nice. We can put also Archon here. Wait, they also play swords? Wait, you gave me a land? That's insane. Loras to the hand. Oh, wow. Look at this combo. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, maybe maybe that's fine. Maybe they have a board wipe. I forgot about my own Archon. But uh, it works out. You know, it works out. Um, Yeah. Unironically, it kind of worked out. So if they play a spell, I'm going to disrupt their flute. Tainted pack. That is tempting. Another Ugma? But I don't think I can actually afford that. White and blue. I think I'll just get rid of a watery grave here. Attack. No fetch lens? Another Ugma. Short. Nice. Nice. See what they do? Eiffel. Interesting. I mean, they already played a card this turn with the Archon, so they can't play anything anymore. I don't know what this is. But Takenuma. What is this? Oh, a Drown in the Lock, but it's like special art. I thought it was like a creature for a moment.
board wipe, maybe? It's not. Okay. Two, four, six. I guess I can go castle into Falage next turn. If I play the Falage, it could just get countered. Oh, this is something they could do. I guess if they have uh, Thos's Oracle in the hand, I lose the game. Toxic Deluge. I see. So they do have a board wipe. Pay X life. They gotta pay 3 life. And they go to 6. And then we castle. And then we play for lodge. Okay. Ghost Quarter. They have double blue even if I get rid of one. We'll double black matter. Okay, let's attack first. If I can get them off another mana. Like, I'm not sure how many, like, exile spells that they play. Another 3 damage there. I think you have made a tremendous grave error there. Uh, you were supposed to not tap the white sword so that you could get back a path to exile. The auto tapper gets them again. Oh. Okay. Already seeing the effects of the elegant Pelor. Much prefer this over a Gonjo. Stomping ground, okay. I see, I see. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of their stomping ground there. Scalding Tarn. Ooh, that's a good one. Wonder what kind of deck they're playing. I think we gotta go with Activist Ugma, right? Yeah, I think we gotta go with that. Draw a card off of it. Snow Covered Island. Interesting. One ring? Okay. Interesting. Well, since we're not doing anything, we should just uh, ephemerate this bunch of times. No covered mountain. Interesting. Oh, well, let's attack with this. Ditch the NT. No, my full lodge. Okay, I'm upset.
What is this deck? Solitude. Another one ring. Hmm. Is this elementals? Maybe it's like a elementals. How many basics do you play? Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't play another basic, right? There's no way. No way? No way you play another basic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I think I actually want to keep all these. Sneak attack. Now I know what they're playing now. It's a sneak attack deck. Sneak attack deck with one ring plus field of the dead. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and five attack with the giver runes. Okay, never mind anymore. They're also gonna get life. Um. They play Flare of Cultivation, so we see why they play that now. Do they get a forest? What do... I, I think we have to go... This. Get rid of that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. Line. Wow. Exact Seas. Actually, they were about to take damage with the uh, One Ring, but... Okay, so we want Disruptor Flute. Um, again, we're playing against decks with way too many basics for their own good. Thanks, I hate it. Uh, let's play Archons as well. Actually, should I play Archon? I think let's play a Vortex. Hut like Inties and a Falage. I think I might want to want to play a Dranith Magistrate as well. Lock them out with the Avon Interrupter. Because I, I don't know what they're playing. Giver Rune seems bad. Okay, fine. Okay, not bad. Oh wow, that's a lot of uh ramping. They already at, they already have a uh, four mana next turn. That's insane. Into a minx kimbu. Yeah, I didn't expect a minx kimbu from them, honestly. Yeah, that's not something that I expected. Uh, we're probably dead. Wait, they draw instead? 
Okay. As long as there's no um like two double creature, I'm good here. Nice. The Minx is dead. I need a strong potion and a soft bed. At least. I have so much mana. Oh my god, get out of here. No. Wait, why didn't why didn't you play it? Huh? Okay, that's really good for me that they didn't play the card that they were supposed to. So that's good. Maybe they have a removal spell. What if they have a removal spell? I mean, their, their start was just so fast. Yeah, I'm okay with one ring. Uro. Is escape casting? Yep, so they can't play Uro. Uh-oh. They got a field of the dead, though. Could I crack this now? I could draw into Ugma, but does it matter if I crack it now? Doesn't make sense, right? Now we crack it. Um, guess let's attack. Such a weird game. We got two more Avon Interrupters. Hopefully that'll get us there. Hopefully speaking. One ring. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it might be a bait. Yeah. Land next turn is actually insane. Oh my god! Another field. Their deck is so greedy. Uro, one ring plus sneak attack? Are you kidding me? How many basics do you play? Like, this is crazy. Oh my god, thank god. Could be a bait though, again. I mean, there's just. They're only getting one. I need a land. They... They can create one zombie. You're kidding me.
Help. Help. They're, they're casting all the mogs. Okay. Exile 1. Ideal 3, 4, 5. Um, ideal 6, 7 damage? That's not enough. Oh my god. That is not enough, my friend. Woo! Where should I put it? Let's just put it here. Ephemerate? Um... That doesn't do anything, right? I swear. I'm about to lose my mind. Just die. Okay, draw. That's good. Now you blow up. Oh my god. Into a sneak attack? No way. No! <laughs> Why are you playing so many basics? Why? 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 Well, um, let's go again. Oh no. Double ghost quarter. That's not something that you want to see. Oh, you're still hoping. And no insane start from our opponent this time. Another land. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to keep the land. That last game was insane. Their start was so nasty. Okay. I think I'm gonna bottom the source since I have a sol solitude with ephemerate. Okay. Show and tell. They only have one red source. Oh god. It was something else. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept the swords. Show and tell. I mean, I can kill it. It's just, it sucks, you know? Wow, they just kill it. Okay. I'm happy about this. That's so aggressive. Granite Magistrate. I don't think we need it. I feel like this Felia currently 
doesn't do anything. Blinking the White Orchid Phantom doesn't really accomplish much. I think we'll just do this. Oh, that sucks. Maybe that was a mistake. We needed an Avon Interrupter there. Minx and Boo. Fight the good fight. Actually, fight all the fights. Magic? <laughs> we have masters. Six. Look at us. We are tough. Okay. Potential we win here. Let's see. Vortex. Let's say I solitude a zombie. They go to 9. And then they take 6, 7, 8, 9 exactly. Uh oh, they have something. Oh, right. They have um another zombie. Hmm. If that's the case, I don't discard anything. Play the vortex. And then pass. And I rolling vortex activate solitude so they they don't gain any life. It's too tiny. Close game. Super close game. I got this one. They went with a draw. To creating another zombie. Plays the Kami. So close to dead. Flare. And they die? Wow. I think they were dead anyways. Because they only had one card, right? So if this is sneak attack, they don't have a creature. So I guess it has to be a removal spell, but I haven't seen a single removal spell from an opponent. Okay, so I played like six games with this deck. We actually lost three games. Um, two games due to playing the wrong land, which you guys didn't see. So for some reason, I had this card in the deck accidentally, thinking that this was actually Monumental Hinge. Uh, they both start with M, so so I, I had this in accidentally, and uh, I lost two games uh, because I forgot to um, get this thing out, and I thought this was Monumental Hinge, and I played this, and it came in tapped, and I lost the game. So I lost two games there, and then I lost to that last opponent that we played against. So Disruptor Flute seems very strong against Boros Energy. And it looks like we might need more enchantment and artifact hates. Uh, March is something that we could play. It's a very flexible card. Or we could play uh, two copies of Meltdowns as well. So maybe we play Meltdowns. And I'm sure you should have a good time against the uh, Boros Energy. Uh, we are playing seven. Uh, we're playing 18 white sources in the deck. But even with that. Uh, getting a White Orchid Phantom down without getting mana screwed was kind of hard with four copies of Ghost Quarter. For some reason, triple colored decks that are playing like maybe 20 lands in the deck was playing like triple basics too, which is kind of weird. Obviously, White Orchid Phantom a little bit matchup dependent. And I think we got a little bit unlucky this, uh, this session, meeting up against a lot of decks with 
way too many basics than they should have in the deck. Because just imagine playing a 20 or like 20 land deck and you get mana screwed because you play three basics and you're playing tri a triple color deck. At the very least, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, just a tiny bit unfortunate. We got a little bit, uh, we played against uh, some weird decks there. I'm kind of thinking maybe we cut an Aganjo and play a Surveil Land instead just to increase the consistency of our land base. Maybe I'll play like a Elegant Pallor there. Something like that. But yeah, um, I mean, the deck was pretty fun. I haven't quite played something like this before, like White Orchid Phantom with the Felia, land destruction there. Semi's GMG with uh, Ghost Quarter, that's also land destruction there. And while this is all going on, if you have Ugma down at the same time, you're going to be drawing a bunch of cards. And at the same time, we have Ephemerates with the White Orchid Phantom or Ephemerates with Recruiter. Yeah, I think the deck was uh, pretty fun. As for Boromir, probably this has to be something else. Because Boromir plus Avon doesn't go well together, right? Avon Interrupter. So maybe take that out instead of a... Uh, and have another Archon. Since Archon seems like a really good card at the moment. So yeah, I would pl probably play something like this. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.